One of the unique features of the Octava software are the tools that it provides. If you'll notice over here, we've shown the standard tools already, but we also have sections for math, language arts, geography, science, uh, as well as voting or instant polling and our lessons tab. And those last two voting and lessons are kind of special, so we'll talk about those in another, in another video. But talking about the subject-specific tools, I can access those tools at any time. We're going to switch over to our math tools right now because we're teaching something uh, related to math, of course. And we're talking about number sentences. So I might actually have students build a number sentence. Um, I can bring out my tools here. And what might that look like if I've got two rows of four? So maybe that looks like two times four equals, right? So I can build a number sentence like that. And of course, the answer is eight. Um, of course, I can also illustrate the concept that uh, four times two also equals eight. Uh, so we can use these tools within the number system here. Uh, and there's a lot of different tools. And it's going to depend on what you're teaching. If I'm working with angles, I'm going to bring out the protractor, or I'm going to bring out my angle tools. If I'm teaching with number lines, we have number lines that we can use. If we're teaching about shapes, we have shapes, uh, different objects like that that we can draw out. So lots of geometry tools. And there's math games as well. So we can bring out any of our math games. So that's just sort of a, a basics. Uh, a lot of different tools that you can draw from. It's just going to be depending on the specific activity that you're working with. I can actually demonstrate some of the other tools, even within language arts. Uh, we might take a look at this as well. I'm going to move to a new slide. So here we're dealing with four columns of, of two flowers. I might highlight that. And we're going to put that in the word vault. And this is also for building sentences as well. If I wanted to, of course, take specific words out of sentences. They can actually try to drag those in position. If they go in the right position, they'll work. So you have that word vault tool where I can take out any different words, uh, build a sentence. And you have other tools. We might break down into word roots, talk about word roots. Uh, we might access some of the different word games as well. So those are the literacy tools. If I go to geography, and we can talk about uh, you know, trying to stick to our theme here, where we're looking at these sunflowers. You know, what temperature range would the flowers thrive in? We could talk about this during my science lesson. We can show how the temperature between Fahrenheit and Celsius relates. Uh, we could bring out our weather symbols and, and talk about weather or those types of objects. And we could bring out our mapping tools as well. There might be certain areas of the world. Can you identify some place here where these flowers would not grow? And I'm going to guess that probably not down in Antarctica. So we can bring out our map tools, Google Maps, our select map tools. Um, we can build charts, weather tools, and whatnot.